up, y'all. Big Snoop D O double G. I want to welcome y'all to my house, the dog house. Slide in. Okay, obviously that was a throwback, but Snoop Dogg did live in that mansion for quite some time. These days, records show the rapper lives in Diamond Bar, California, but he's super private with his home. Snoop has been making headlines this past week for his drama with 6 9 about being a snitch, but today we'll be looking at his real estate instead. We're going to see what info we can find about Snoop's current home, his previous Claremont mansion, and even his car collection. Calvin Cortazar Broadus Jr., who's better known by his stage name Snoop Dogg, is a rapper, singer, producer, media personality, and more, who's considered an OG in the industry. Starting his music career all the way back in 92, being discovered by Dr. Dre, he's 48 at the time of this recording and still working. Since the early days, he's managed to sell 35 million albums worldwide and had 17 Grammy nominations over the years. Aside from his successful music career, he started movies and hosted several TV shows from Dog After Dark to his collab cooking show with Martha Stewart. The man has done it all. Between his music, acting, and other ventures, Snoop has amassed a current estimated net worth of $135 million, making him one of the richest rappers in the world. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be taking a look at where Snoop Dogg and his family call home in California. Now, if you thought Eminem was private about his homes, I think Snoop keeps his current place even more under wraps. I'll show you guys his previous home that was featured on Cribs, what we know about his current place in Diamond Bar, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and the likes of Snoop's Enemy 6 9 and the boys of Migos, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me over on Instagram to chat because I love getting to know you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in those comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Prior to his current family home, Snoop lived in a Mediterranean-style mansion in Claremont, California for quite some time. He purchased it way back in 1994 for only $660,000, but these days it's valued at over $2.5 million. This is the home that Snoop showed off for the show MTV Cribs back in the day, so some of you might even remember it. Claremont is a city on the east edge of Los Angeles County, about 30 miles from downtown LA and the Pomona Valleys. His previous house is located in the Blaisdell Ranch subdivision here and was built in 19. 1989 and renovated since. Snoop fully remodeled the entire place again in 2006, also expanding it. This home sits at the end of a private cul-de-sac on top of a small hill offering just shy of an acre of land. Inside, the home used to span about 3,500 square feet, but once Snoop was done with his remodel, it doubled in size to over 6,000 square feet. There are eight beds and 5.5 baths. Walking in the Claremont Mansion, you'll find a formal double height entry with marble floors, sweeping grand staircase, and chandelier. There are common areas like a formal living room and a dining room which Snoop said back then he didn't even use. These days it seems not much has changed because according to his Instagram, Snoop still spends most of his time in his man cave and studio. This is where it all go down there, where we create all the musical madness that we do. It's the wall of fame. Every gang bang homie I got come through here and sign the wall. Some of them still alive, some of them in jail for life, some of them still on the streets. But this is what we represent right here, this gangster rap thing. He also had a more casual living room here, which led to his recording studio. Other features of Snoop's old crib included marble fireplaces and high ceilings throughout, a chef's kitchen with marble counters, and dual master bedrooms, one on each level, each with a spacious walk-in closet. There was also a home movie theater, a four-car garage, and additional recording studio. Outside the home, there was a swimming pool and spa, playground for the kids, and even space for Snoop's dogs. Not to mention a tennis slash basketball court and additional pool house. Despite the major expansion Snoop made to the Claremont home and living here for quite some time with the fam, he sold it for over $1.8 million. Then he moved to what's thought to be his current place in Diamond Bar. Okay, so this is where my sources got a little limited. We know where Snoop is currently living and where he moved after leaving his home in Claremont, but there aren't too many details or photos of the place out there. Snoop likes to keep his family home private. What we do know is that the rapper lives in Diamond Bar, California, a city in eastern Los Angeles County, and he's in a gated community on Alamo Heights. The community is called Country Estates, apparently, and someone online said Snoop's house is the blue one on the street. 
Public records state Snoop bought his Diamond Bar Mansion house back in 1998 for 720k, and it sits on just under 2.5 acres of land. Of course, the house is likely valued at a few million by now since he bought it years ago. The house is about 4,000 square feet or just shy of that and has 4 beds and 4 baths. All we can see from Snoop's current home is the aerial view and of course his lot has a pool and spa out back. We also know that as of 2018, Snoop was still living at this house and carrying out a full remodel. He ended up taking a contractor to court because he said he did a bad job on the renovations and didn't pay the other workers. He filed a lawsuit against the contractors who worked on his diamond bar mansion because they didn't hold up their end of the deal, allegedly suing the company for 500k. Another source reported Snoop owns an additional two story home at the end of Diamond Bar where he converted all three bedrooms into a recording studio and conference room. I'm not sure if this is true though, so if any of you guys do, sound down off in the comments. On Snoop's Instagram, he shares a ton of clips from the kitchen because clearly he likes to make food. Since his kitchen looks like it's on the smaller side, I think this is at his studio rather than his home. He also shared what he called his quarantine zone during this global pandemic. There's a lot going on there, but since most of Snoop's vids are filmed in this setting, it's where he spends most of his time. We can see he has his recording area set up, his colored lights, a TV, all his supplies, and even a small bed. I'm guessing this is his recording studio slash man cave, but I don't think it's in the family home. When he showed the entire hallway of this place that led to the kitchen, he always shows himself cooking in and the building looks like a workplace. So I'm gonna guess it's a Snoop's studio building. There was also an article posted about Snoop's music headquarters, which is apparently his beach city music complex, five minutes from the LA International Airport in a 20,000 square foot building. It makes sense that Snoop would spend most of his time at his recording studio music complex considering he's made the place like a second home. Apparently the entire building gives the feel of being aboard a space ship with sounds exactly like the spot we see him at on his Instagram. He also made sure he's surrounded by his collection of classic and modern cars, a full size basketball court, games room and more. Speaking of Snoop's car collection, the man takes pride in his. He has a thing for highly customized cars, his favorites being late 1960s and early 70s Cadillacs and Buicks. He has a love for lowriders and respects the culture of modifying vintage cars. Snoop owns a three wheeled car he calls the Batman which is actually a Polaris slingshot. It's a tiny car which doesn't have a high starting price but of course Snoop had his upgraded with a chrome blue paint job, purple and blue blinking dash and more. In the early 2000s Chrysler made Snoop their spokesperson and of course they gave him a brand new Chrysler 300C. His has been lowered with massive chrome rims, blacked out tail lights, a body kit and blacked out windows. He also has a 1974 Cadillac DeVille in an interesting shade of green and a 1960 67 DeVille called Brown Sugar, which was actually displayed at a museum for some time. The third DeVille Snoop owns is a white 1968 coupe that reads Snoop Dogg on the front of the hood and more impressive artwork. This car, like most of his others, were customized by his longtime friend Big Slice. He also owns at least two classic Buick Rivieras, one of which has pink wheels and a portrait of Snoop, his baby daughter and wife on the hood. Now these are certainly not all of his customized classic cars, he has more in the collection. He owns a few modern luxury vehicles as well, like a Maybach, Ferrari, Rolls Royce Ghost and even a Tesla Model X. So now we've taken a look at how Snoop Dogg is living and although I couldn't find what the inside of his current mansion looks like, we know he's living in a luxury California mansion. Honestly though, from what I've seen, the man seems to spend most of his time at his recording studio complex. Like most of quarantine, he even has a bed there. If there's anything I missed or you know more about Snoop's family home, be sure to tell me down in the comments. Okay guys, that being said, I'm gonna read out a couple comments from previous videos. On our Adele house tour, Stephanie Cody wrote, she has such a beautiful home, she has beautiful taste in bedrooms. And on our 6ix9ine house tour, Daya Craft said, yes, I'm so glad you made this, Kara. I love watching your videos, keep up the good work, girl. Thanks so much for watching and I'm glad you liked them. You guys have also been requesting a video on Selena Gomez's new mansion and I just did an updated video for her home, so go check that one out. Her new place is really something else. All right guys, that's all I got on a legendary Snoop Dogg and his properties. The man is pretty private with where he calls home and he doesn't seem to move around too often, but we do know his place is nice. And how about that car collection? Let me know what you guys thought about Snoop's houses as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!